I'm Marco. I'm Alex. And we're the brothers and vagabonds behind Vaga Brothers. You guys ready? Let's do it. So we've got travel in our blood. Our parents met while traveling. Our mom speaks tons of different languages, especially Italian, which is how I got the nickname Marco. She called me Marco Mio. Hey, Marco Mio. Dammi un bacio, Marco. Hey, Marco. <laughs> Our channel is about brotherhood between Marco and I, but it's also about promoting brotherhood and sisterhood between cultures. We grew up in San Diego, right next to the border with Tijuana, during the drug war, when all the news coverage was about murder and danger. Using food, using culture as a window, we've been able to discover so much about our next door neighbor. Americans, they're surprised by the beauty of Mexico, the friendliness of the locals. And locals were always commenting about how stoked they are that we're interested in the country and that we're sharing stories from history and culture. For us, it's really important to always keep an open mind, keep a positive outlook, and don't jump to any conclusions when traveling. And that was especially true in the Middle East. There's a lot of things you hear about the Arab world on the news, but what you don't hear about is Arab hospitality. It's rooted in the traditions of the Bedouin, the nomads of the desert, who are obligated to take in any stranger because to turn someone away in the desert is a death sentence. I have never felt so welcomed in my life, really. So recently we took a trip to Jamaica and made a video about the Maroons. The Maroons are essentially autonomous communities up in the mountains of Jamaica. The Maroon towns are not places that tourists usually go. But we were lucky enough to be shown what life is like and how their ancestors survived off of the land. There were tons of comments saying, my grandmother was from a maroon and I always wondered what it would be like to go and visit. So thank you so much for showing us. I like to say that we live in the global generation. Right now the channel is subtitled in over 30 languages which are completely contributed from the community. But it wasn't easy. We started off not seeing eye to eye to each other. I always wanted to keep the videos fun, and Mark always wanted to make them super educational. The only time we saw eye to eye was when we were going, gah, 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 gah. <laughs> yeah. We realized we could combine educational content in the context of travel and really engage a wider audience and show them basically what makes each culture unique and interesting and worth visiting. And that in itself is a way to change the world. I guess what he's trying to say is, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys and girls on the road. Peace.